All right, folks, today I want to show you how you can easily move uh, your application databases and logins using DBA tools. I have two uh, SQL instances available today. I have MS SQL 1, which is a 2017 instance with two databases. I've got AdventureWorks and Database Admin. And then I have MS SQL 2, which is a 2019 instance currently with no databases. So DBA tools is really made from this need to move uh, things from one server to another. Chrissy, Chrissy Lemaire started this uh, to migrate SharePoint databases. Uh, and if you know anything about SharePoint and SQL Server, under the covers, there are a ton of databases, logins, jobs, link servers that all need to be migrated. So we'll take a look at all of the copy commands available in DBA tools. I'll show you how to get a list of databases and logins and then move those across to our, to our new server. Uh, and then we'll upgrade those databases once we get there. So first of all, we can use get command with the verb copy to check uh, on all the copy commands available in DBA tools. You can see there's quite a lot. You can copy all kinds of things from backup devices, databases, DB mail settings. Uh, those are all available in DBA tools. For today, we're going to look at databases and logins. So first off, I'm using splatting to display my code here, which is just a way of formatting your code to make it more readable. I'm going to create this hash table with the variables or with the parameters, sorry, that I want to pass into my command. Uh, I'm specifying MS SQL 1 as the SQL instance to exclude the system databases and to save this information uh, using out variable to the DBs variable. So I'll run get DBA database and you should see I have two databases uh, as we already saw in Azure Data Studio. Uh, they are in normal status for recovery, owner is SA. Since I used out variables, that's also stored to my DBs variable, which I'll use in a second. We can do a similar thing for login. So get DBA login. If I run that against the MS SQL 1 instance, you can see I've got a load of uh, built-in uh, users, and then I have this JSP SQL login. So this will return SQL logins, Windows logins, and Windows groups. We can also do something similar with get DBA process to see if there are any processes running against our database. Ideally, if we're going to move uh, if we're going to move our application databases, we've already shut down the applications, and the databases should be uh, idle. You can see nothing was returned, so there are no currently running processes uh, connected to my databases on MS SQL 1, which is good. If there were, I could use get DBA process and pipe that to stop DBA process to gently kill them. Uh, this is the same as issuing kill SPID uh, in Management Studio, so just be aware uh, if your application is up, you probably want to contact them and have them take it down gracefully. All right, so let's get to the migration. So we can use copy DBA database. Uh, to migrate our databases from one instance to another. And if we look at our hash table, you can see I'm specifying the source as MS SQL 1, the destination as MS SQL 2, the databases I'm using that DBs variable that we saw the information in earlier. I'm using the backup restore method for, for today. So these databases are pretty small, so it will back them up from the first instance and restore them to the second instance. This shared path is where the, those files will uh, reside, and both instances need to have access to that share. To that share. Finally, I'm setting the verbose to true. Uh, I'm kind of nosy. I like to know what's going on. So let's run this copy DBA database. And what you'll see in my code output down here is you can see it starts to uh, back up the databases from MS SQL 1. It backs them up to three files. Uh, that's been determined as a good uh, a good number of files to use for speed and performance. Once that's backed up to the shared path, you can see it's now restoring AdventureWorks to MS SQL 2. Once that is restored, it will move on to the second database, which was database admin. And if we pop over here and refresh our database node on MS SQL 2, you can see AdventureWorks is restored. And if I refresh it again, database admin has made its way over too. You can see the output on the screen shows that the databases were both successfully moved. We can now move our logins. So copy DBA login using the source and destination parameters. And I'm just specifying the JSP login. I could also use a variable for this. And what this is going to do is script out my JSP login from MS SQL 1 and re uh, recreate it on MS SQL 2. It'll keep the password and the SIDs the same so you won't get any orphan logins. All right, so my login was successfully migrated. Next up, I can set uh, DBA DB state against MS SQL 1 to set those two databases offline on the first instance. If I refresh my node here, you can see those two are now both offline. If 
Finally, let's check our uh, compatibility mode. So get DBA DB compatibility against MS SQL 2. We can see that the two databases we just migrated are still in version 140. If I add two properties to my compat splat, my hash table, to upgrade uh, the database admin database to target compatibility, compatibility 15, which is 2019, and then I run set DBA DB compatibility, that version will be upgraded. Another really great command that's available in DBA tools is invoke DBA DB upgrade. So one of the benefits of using open source software is you get the knowledge of other people. So this command has been written based on this blog post, which you can read more about here. Uh, and it's going to go through several steps. So I'm going to kick that off against the database admin database. It is going to update the compatibility level if it is not already updated. It'll run check DB with data purity. It'll update the usage, update the stats, and then refresh the views uh, against all the user views. And you can see that's come back successful uh, for all of those tasks here. So let's pop back over here. You can see now the final state is I have my two original databases offline on MS SQL 1, which was my 2017 instance. And my 2019 instance has those two databases. Uh, they're upgraded and ready to go. All we would need to do is repoint our application DNS aliases or our connection strings to the new instance and bring our applications back online. So that's just a quick, uh, a quick video on how to migrate your databases and logins with DBA tools. Uh, I hope you enjoyed.